So this is my observation hive and right now it doesn't look like much because it's covered. I keep the black cloth on there uh, just to keep the sunlight off the bees. So that's what it looks like most of the time. Um, it has hinges on the side there and those hinges let me pull it out so that I can see the back side. It's a little hook and eye lock right there that I can unlock and then it swings and I can see the back side. So let me pull the, uh, the cloth out real quick and I'll show you the rest. So here it is with the cloth off and you can see the bees. And I've got a uh, little PVC pipe adapter screwed into the bottom of the base and it goes out through this pipe out, out the window and you can kind of, yeah there was a bee that just went in it, but there's activity going in and out, not as much as I thought there would be right now, but I think they're so focused on making a queen that they're not gathering a whole lot. Um, it has a feeder here on the side. Uh, it's a mason jar feeder. Uh, it's just a normal mason jar with holes poked in the lid. You can kind of see there I sandwiched two pieces of wood together and I put hardware cloth in between so that if I were to, uh, when you pull this off, there's hardware cloth underneath. I'll show you that real quick. There's what it looks like with the jar pulled off and you can see the bees in there eating. When I pulled the jar off it spilled a little bit of the syrup and so they're they're eating it but they go let's see if I can get it to focus there you go. And you can see there's a hole there and that hole leads through this little piece right here which is hollow on the inside underneath this frame which has a hole in it there you can see the bees going in and out so that's how they get to the feeder so I put it only holds four frames so the first two frames I put in there were full of brood and a lot have hatched out. You can see there's a lot of holes in the pattern now, but that's because um, a lot hatched out. It was a pretty solid pattern of brood. Um, and if you look, you can see they're already making quite a few queen cells. Let me turn the, the light off and try to focus. There we go. There's a queen cell right there that they're making. And here's another cluster of queen cells. Now they're covered up by bees right now. There they are. See those cells that are protruding out. This frame is not a very nice looking piece of comb. It has some waves in it. It's not real straight, but I wanted to see um, how they would draw this out. I really want to watch them draw it out completely. And also, it's, you know, I'm sure you can't see because it's just too small, but it was absolutely chock full of eggs. And so I wanted to make sure they had plenty of eggs in order to you know, raise their new queen. Because when I put them in here, I left the queen back in the original hive. This frame up here at the top is just all honey. Uh, so I gave them one frame full of honey. But like I said, it will, it will hinge so we can see the back side too. And there's more. Well, let me show you here. There's some queen cells. They've started on that one. But they've kind of abandoned them. They started them and then... Now they're not working on those up there as much as they are that one and the other one I showed you. I'll show you the back side here. On the back side there's another queen cell they've abandoned. Um, here's a queen cell that's got that classic you know, peanut texture on the outside of it. I put a wire strand support from the bottom corner to the top corner along the back just for a little extra support because I know as it gets heavier with more honey in here more bees it's going to put a lot of strain on that frame so I put that on there but the whole thing cost me I think $77 altogether of that 45 of it was the glass um, the rest of the cost was in the uh, that wire strand the mirror clip here these mirror clips are what hold the glass up against the, the wood but by doing it this way and just having the glass flush against the wood, the width of my frame that I cut here is my bee space. And so I was able to, to get the exact bee space I wanted in between the glass just by, by doing it this way. But the mirror clips, they weren't very much, like 4 or $5. Um, the hinges were, were kind of expensive. Those are gate hinges, and I think these were like, like 20 bucks there. So, you know, $65 of it was the glass and the hinges. And then the rest was uh, 
just miscellaneous little things. You know, the wood was all two by fours and two by sixes I had laying around. It didn't cost me anything. But that is it. That's the uh, no observation hive, and you know it's not perfect, but for the price, I'm pretty happy with it.